Good morning, everybody. Best Five Zach here. I thought I'd come in uh, really early to work today and uh, go over a couple brand new baits from Power Team Lures. You know, it's hard when you have three kids to uh, have really any time at home to, you know, be able to clean an area and, and uh, have time without kids running around and screaming. So I came in really early today, a little peace and quiet, uh, good lighting, and uh, we're going to discuss two brand new baits that came out from Power Team Lures uh, last week on Friday. Uh, it is Tuesday today. Uh, I received my brand new lures yesterday. And so today we're going to talk about the 4.8 inch uh, hammer shad that just came out as well as the 7 inch finicky tickler. Now these are not uh, you know, completely brand new baits to the line. In fact, they're the mainstays for the company. The, um, of course, they come in much smaller versions. Um, so I, I'd like to say that I'm one of the first to be able to review these, maybe even the first. So let's get right down to it. I'm going to show you the baits themselves and maybe uh, you know go over a couple of things. Now first up is the new 4.8 inch hammer shad. Now this is the money color they have, which I really like. Now if you can't pick this up, it's got uh, it's kind of a smoke plastic and it has uh, purple and silver glitter. So it really gives that kind of shiner look when it's coming through the water. Now the original version is a 3.68 um, uh, version and it was made uh, primarily for drop shotting. But uh, I don't do a lot of drop shotting and we at, on Gunnersville in particular there's really not a lot of uh, ability to do that. But what I do like to do with it is put it on a Bama rig. Now I know a lot of people throughout the country think that it, the Bama rig was um, a one time thing that it doesn't really work and maybe it doesn't work in your lake. But I'm here to tell you that it is a very real method of catching fish and, and myself I've caught a lot of fish, seen a lot of fish caught and if you're on Gunnersville and you're uh, out fishing, you're going to see Bama rigs get thrown. Now the 3.6 inch version is, uh, in my opinion, a little small for using on a, a Bama rig where, you know, for the same size you can use a grub uh, rather than use the hammer shad. But it does some things really well, even in the smaller version. And we're going to talk about that here in a second. So I was really uh, happy to find out they were coming out with a larger version. Uh, so as soon as it came out, of course, I ordered a Pro Pack that Friday. I received it uh, yesterday along with uh, the other stuff I'm going to look into. So we're going to compare um, and talk about this. Now, what I really like about this bait, uh, not only do they have a great price, and that's one of the, the really big things is that the price is right on these items, especially if you buy like a Pro Pack. But it's a really slim line bait and it comes through the water uh, real well. Uh, the, the tail has a great action, not only is it back and forth, but if the bait, as the bait falls, it gives a really nice motion and wiggle as it falls. Um, and a lot of baits don't do that. Uh, another thing that I like about the bait is, uh, you know, believe it or not, the more plastic that the bait's made out of, or the bigger the bait is, the more buoyant it is, which means that you've got to have uh, a lot more weight to keep that bait down. And I don't really like using a lot of weight. I mean, we're talking about, you know, five-eighths of an ounce, uh, half-ounce weights on your swim bait hooks. And, you know, I really just don't like doing that. Uh, and it's a combination of, you know, the aerodynamics in the water as well as the buoyancy of the bait. So when you use a bait that's a slimmed-down version like this that still gives you a lot of motion in the water, you know, slim line, slime bait, it really comes through the water, and it, it, it's a lot lighter than, uh, than the other ones. So that means that you can reel it a lot slower but keep it higher in the water column and that's a big deal uh, especially on shallow water uh, lakes like Gunnersville in particular. So now we're going to look at uh, a couple of different baits that a lot of you are probably real common with. We're going to look at the uh, the Skinny Dipper from Reaction Innovations. Uh, this is actually a custom one that I pour in my house. Uh, we have a Storm and we have the uh, the Yum Money. Oh, I forgot one more, uh, the Gambler. Again, these are also all great baits. I'm not taking anything away from them, but they all have areas that they excel in and, and areas that they don't do well with. Um, let's talk about the Money Minnow. The Money Minnow, Minnow is a fairly expensive bait. Uh, it has a lot of uh, really good uh, has a lot of really good features to it, um, but it tears up real easy. It's made out of a really soft plastic, and it tears up real easy. So when you have an expensive bait that tears up real easy, you end up spending a lot of money. The Gambler is uh, kind of a, a value priced item. Um, it uh, doesn't have very very much uh, features to it at all, not a lot of finishing to it. Um, it's a pretty st sturdy bait, it doesn't tear up a lot. And it moves a lot of water, but it's very bulky. 
uh, you know, it may not look like it, but it's a lot of plastic. And again, when we talk about, you know, it has a lot of plastic, that means it wants to float. We have a storm minnow, which, uh, you know, they have a lot of features. They're value priced as well, believe it or not, but they tear up real easy. And, uh, you know, a fish or two and the baits are really done. And again, you know, my custom swim baits, which I think have a lot of uh, benefits to them, but again, they're expensive uh, to use. And uh, they're also very buoyant. So when you talk about uh, the big benefits of this bait, uh, the hammer shad, again, you know, it, it, it has a really good motion in the water. It doesn't hold up your, your rig a lot. You can downsize that weight. And it also has kind of a, uh, a unique feature that the rest of them don't, and we kind of hit on that. As the bait falls, if you use it like on a swim bait hook, you get a really good motion as it falls because of this tail. And the rest of these don't do that. They just kind of dead stick as they fall. So again, very unique bait. You can use it a lot of different ways. Uh, you know, I use it on the Bama rig a lot, but it's great on a as a single swim bait or uh, as it's made for a drop shot if you like to use it that way. One of the other things that uh, that I really like about this bait is the ability to use it as a trailer, which on these other baits you really can't do. You know, they're they're too big or they they end up moving too much water, making too much of a commotion, which believe it or not, I believe is. Uh, can be a downside, but because of the slim nature of this bait and the tight wiggle of the tail that it has as it, uh, as it comes through the water, you can use it uh, very effectively as a trailer. Now for me, I like to, to cut off a little bit of the head and to get it way up here on this, on this uh, um, spinner bait. But again, that's something that the rest of these can't do real well is use it as a trailer. You can use it for your spinner baits, buzz baits, uh, you know, and I've even used them on jigs, uh, and I use uh, on a lead head, uh, and kind of use it as a jig as well. And again, that that streamlined nature, it gives it something that's different than a worm, uh, and different than a creature bait, uh, but not quite uh, the as big as a swim bait, where a lot of these swim baits don't have very good action when you're dead sticking. This, because of the slim line nature of the back end of the bait, gives it a lot of motion as it falls and also as it sits on the bottom. Uh, you know, the other swim baits are so, uh, so heavy and sturdy that they just don't do anything but kind of sit there. But this one has the ability to really give some motion and to mimic that, that, that dying minnow that's sitting on the bottom. So again, you know, when you buy these items, uh, and any item for, uh, for that matter, you know, don't think about exactly the one thing that it, they tell you to use it for. Think of all the different ways that you can use this bait. An incredibly versatile bait that you can use from everything from spinner baits to bama rigs, lead headed swim baits, put them on a jig, uh, almost anything. The possibilities are really endless with this bait. I mean, and even throwing it uh, unweighted, boy, it's deadly when you throw it unweighted. So give this bait a try. It's the 4.8 inch Hammer Shad, brand new from Power Team Lures. Not only should you continue to check out um, bestvibesact.blogspot.com, but don't forget on the blog we have a great bait contest, free bait giveaway, where if you buy uh, baits from Power Team Lures through my website, well not through my website, use the link to save yourself 10% off. Uh, you like my Facebook page, which is Best Five Zach, or you can follow me on Twitter at Best Five Zach. Uh, I'm going to have a drawing on the 15th of this month, and I'm going to give you a free care package out of my own pocket. Uh, you know, we're going to have free pack, packs of my favorite baits. We're going to have some apparel. So don't forget, save yourself some money by going to Power Team Lures, and uh, make sure that you follow the directions, which are on my blog. I've got a couple of links there. And save yourself some money. Get some free baits. So go out there and buy these. Be the first on your lake, folks. And you know what that, how that is. Trying that new bait that's just subtly different from everything else makes all the difference in the world. The new Hammer Shad 4.8 inch from Power Team Lures. Give it a try.